it's funny because uh, you know I, I really enjoy um, you know coaching basketball and um, but this stretch that we've been in has been really it's been a lot for our young men um, it's been a lot for you know the staff and and we're not used to playing with a lead right there was um, I mean there's been times where we've had lead but I think young teams um, struggle with it and I thought that was evidence tonight you know give them a lot of credit you know they just kept battling and battling and battling um, but I thought we got a little complacent especially on the defensive end um, and got their shooter shots and they shot themselves right back into the game and um, you know we had to make some free throws at the end um, you know Malik made a huge block um, but again I'm, I'm proud of our team because it's been a lot um, and you know, obviously didn't play great at Missouri State. You know, knew that, um, you know, this is the hardest prep we've had all year. Like, we had no idea what they were going to do. Were they going to zone us the entire game? Were they going to, um, you know, brand new coach? And so, um, you know, there was, there was a lot of kind of unknowns. But I am proud of the way, um, you know, we found a way to win. You know, obviously we got to close games, um, you know, better. I think we had an opportunity if we got maybe two or three stops in a row at one point, um, you know, we really could have blown the game open. But again, I'm um, proud of the way we competed and, and, and very happy to get a win. Uh, any win's good. Daniel, you guys had like five or six blocks in the first half. You had your first career block here. You guys were closing shot clock violations. And then that kind of stopped. I mean, was it complacency? Just kind of what happened on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, yeah, I say complacency. We kind of relaxed a little bit. Um, the energy went down, but um, Coach came right in the locker room and said uh, we can't come out like that in the second half. And I think we, for the most part, came out the second half with good energy. <laughs> He's saying we got all the stops in the first half and it didn't in the second. It came come out in the second half, I didn't think it was that bad. But the first half was definitely better than the second half. We got to figure out a way to do that for 40 minutes instead of just 10, 15 minutes in the segments of the game. And that's our challenge to our team with our team. So. Malik, can you take us through that block? Uh, well, I seen, I saw Jamar uh, get clipped a little bit. That's because I, I forgot to say switch. And so I just was like, well, I'm going to try to make a play on the ball. And with the time, I know time to score. I was like, I'm going to try to go up and block it. It's a good block. Matt, you know, Malik tied his career high in points, but it was that one defensive play that really kind of stands out. Yep. What, what did you see from him throughout the totality of today's game? Uh, you know, there's no denying Malik's talent, right? And I thought the best thing that Malik did um, tonight uh, from an offensive standpoint was I just thought his shot selection was perfect. Um, and um, I thought he let the game come to him. And, um, and and we've been working a lot on that, right? As you as you coach guys, and especially guys that are, you know, gaining a lot of experience for the first time, um, you know, understanding, you know, time and score, when to attack, when not. Um, and Malik, and you don't want to get him tentative, right? And Malik's done a great job of uh, taking coaching. I thought his shot selection was perfect, and I thought his defense was was fin fantastic tonight. And um, you know, he's got the unique ability with size um, and mobility um, to switch onto a guard at times. Um, you know, keep a point guard in front of him um, and bang down low. So uh, versatile defender that helps us a lot. Javon, this is for you, but it's for all four of you. Um, Obviously, I saw the Kobe Bryant news. Just uh, what did Kobe mean to the formation of your basketball career and to you in general? Um, actually, it's, it's so crazy because I think our last practice, uh, Coach Lottie Kidd on his uh, little notes, uh, mumble mentality, and we was talking about that. And then this happens today. So we just all thought that we should just have mumble mentality tonight. For the players, uh, Daniel or Malik, uh, you know, Daniel, I know you, you were tweeting about it earlier today. Just how did it, how did it hit you? It made me sick, like literally. I, I, I couldn't just, I couldn't even look at my phone right after I saw it. It made me sick. Somebody like, like that, such an icon to the world, like he didn't just impact basketball, he impacted literally everybody. And it's just, it's, it's, I, I have no words. Malik, you grew up around Michael Jordan, but also, you know, Kobe has kind of been told as this generation's Jordan. What did you see from him? Uh, it was definitely influential to me, and as far as um, just the way he thought about everything, how he came to, he was always prepared. He talked about being prepared is the most important thing. And, um, 
I try to I try to live like that. And so it was it was definitely sad hearing the news. And then Matt, it's an unexpected emotional jolt for the players, I'd imagine. Just how do you uh, how do you process something like that when you know that it's not right here in your backyard, but it's also something that's out there? Well, you know, we definitely addressed it pregame, and you know, I wrestled with it. You know, what should we do with this? And you know, I just. Um, you know, our young men love basketball, and you know Kobe is is someone that has been a part of our program, and he doesn't even know it. But there's been instances where we've shown videos of his work ethic. You know, we talked. You know, we've talked at length about what we're trying to build. You know, from a culture component, and I think, you know, Kobe, like Javon said, I had it on my notes. You know, Mamba mentality. Like we have got to go out with that killer instinct, and um, you know, I think, at least in my generation of witnessing basketball, there's Jordan and Kobe. And, you know, you can debate who's the better player, but as far as the competitor, you know, they are as good as it gets. I don't think one's better than the other. Um, so we addressed it and, you know, we just said the best way to deal with it is to honor it. You know, honor him and try to take that mentality, his mentality, um, into our game tonight. Coach, uh, tonight, you got to see Fazekas back on the court. What, what did this game mean for him and to be able to play at home again? Well, I just think, you know, Ryan's very appreciative of, of the opportunity and, um, you know, he gave us a big lift. You know, it's this is um, as healthy as our team's been since the first game of the year. Um, and so, you know, it's great to have everyone back, but, you know, now we talked about it like, you know, there's just going to be maybe less minutes um, across the board. So the expectation is, you know, you go out there and you play as hard as you can. And, um, you know, when you can't give any more, we'll bring in another guy um, that can really, you know, do it. So um, it's, it's a great time of the year to get healthy. Um, but, you know, we've got to start kind of, you know, giving new identity and roles, um, which can be, be a challenge. Daniel, a few weeks ago, it seemed like you were really struggling. Just kind of what was going in that stretch and what have you done? This last stretch to kind of get back on track. Um, it's honestly, that was all mental. It's been all mental, and I just changed my whole mentality. Yeah, and honestly, like my mentality, I'm trying to use that past two games now. Um, so I just try to make sure I'm fully locked in, fully focused, because the team needs me to be best and bring energy, no matter what it is, and just I'm just locked in mentally all the time. Just how's your life feeling? Just what, what happened? With, uh, with I don't. I just got a little leg to do. It was nothing. I'm fine. And Javon, you're kind of going to the stationary bike a couple times. Just how are, how are you feeling after the Indiana State game in the last week? Uh, I mean, I feel good. I was out there. Uh, I was just basically just trying to uh, get loose. And. Big free throws down the stretch, I think four in the last 30 seconds. Just, you know, what's the mental exercise that you take yourself through to knock those shots down? <clears throat> well, previously, I missed that one early on. I was kind of down about it, but then I thought about it. I was just threw it out my head and, and down to make the uh, last two. You know, and, and these two guys in the game with them, I mean, you know, Javon got fouled right away right after that, and they were both. You know, very encouraging, and uh, you know, it's a it's a good sign to see that. 